I would like to call upon our next speaker, Brother Akbar Ali Qasim Ali Virji. Let me give a brief about him. Brother Akbar Ali Qasim Ali Virji is a dynamic executive with 10 years of experience in helping organizations to reach their full potential. Adapt in making key decisions and working with other professionals to achieve their goals and solving their problems. Experience in managing the employees and the community programs and dedicated to successfully directing operations. He is a commerce graduate from the famous Nizam College of Hyderabad in the year 1980. A law graduate from Mumbai University in 1983, he has also completed an intermediate level of cost and works accountancy. A proprietor of H.A. Virji Associates, a financial consultancy firm. And this is the most important part, which I would like you to give a note about, that he has served the community during the period from 2011 till date as a board member of Imam -e Zamana Education Society. From 2013 to 2007, as an honorary treasurer of that organization. 2007 till date as a board member of Imam -e Zamana Mission, which started in the year 1984. Just remember this years, it started in the year 1984. From 2007 till 2008, a joint secretary and a, chairman, uh, and a chairman of the education committee. He is serving an honorable president as of now and a chairman of the education committee of both Imam -e Zamana Mission and Imam -e Zamana Education Society since 2018 till date. And now just imagine the organization started in the year 1984. That's around 43 years that we have just started this program a couple of years back. But there have been organizations which have started in the name of Imam -e Zamana years back and are still working and striving towards the work of Imam. And now with a loud salwat, I would like to call Brother Akbar Ali Kasamari Virji Saab to enlighten us all with his lecture on the 12th talk program. And his topic is the excellence of serving the promised Mahdi by serving his lovers. But Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad wa ajil farajo. I am honored to be introduced so generously by brother Rahil Manji, for which I thank him wholeheartedly. I also extend my warm wishes to all the speakers, to the members of the 12 talk team and the audience here. I am extremely happy to share my views on this great platform on the topic, the excellence of serving Imam Mahdi Ajarullah Ta'ala Farajo Sharif by serving his lovers. We at Imam -e Zamana Mission follow the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Muhammad, Surah number 47, ayat number 7, wherein he says, O oh, those who believe, help Allah. He will in return help you and make your footprint firm. Does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need our help? All creatures are in need of him. Then what does he mean by that? In Tafsir of Safi, by 17th century scholar Mullah Mohsin Faiz Kashani, alayhi rahma, he has brought a tradition from Imam Jafar -e Sadi alayhi salam, which says that helping Allah is helping his religion, helping his prophets, and the successor of prophets. And the present day successor of prophets, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi salam, is none other then our Imam -e Zamana, Ajarullah Ta'ala Farajo Sharif. The duties and responsibilities which goes with serving as president of Imam -e Zamana are vast. Imam -e Zamana Mission is an organization, as I mentioned in my introduction, which was set up in 1984. And its activities include providing housing for the underprivileged section of our community. In pursuance of that, we have already established 64 flats known as Batul Bagh and another 20 flats known as Baitul Khaim complex. 
in the main city of Hyderabad. And over and above that, we have constructed numerous dwelling units for uh, our community members who are owners of small plots and who were living in, you know, juggies and uh, got kacha houses. That also, we have mobilized funds and we have made them all RCC. They are the owners, we have only done the construction. They already, already had the plots and all that. Other than this, we are also helping in case of medical emergencies and a token of contribution in cases of marriage for that also we undertake. And as uh, you can see, we had had a very glorious past. Alhamdulillah, my predecessor had done very lot of hard work. Now we are focusing on education of the youth. We are having four schools donated to us, owned, wholly owned by us. Alhamdulillah, very good infrastructure is there. And 1800 students are studying. It's all recognized by government of Telangana. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we are from the age group of 4 to 16 years. And 95% of the students are from our Shia community, Shia families, who are lovers of Ali from generations. And then what, what more is there is that to serve the Imam and Zamana mission, and we are, you know, this is an excellent opportunity to serve this upcoming youth. The helpful nature, love for truthfulness and being trustworthy is the main factors we are trying to inculcate among this upcoming youth of our community. The importance of right guidance at this tender age is essential. So what examples we are doing is, let us take small steps. So we are telling them by you start helping your parents without being asked to do so. Then as a second stage, they can help senior citizens, strangers in crossing roads, in showing them politely the directions where they want to go. And finally, they can also help member of public by removing obstacles and slippery things from their pathways. And over a period of time, this we want the students of our schools to be recognized with these abilities and qualities. And one more thing is, important factor we have to keep in mind, is they all come from very, very humble background. And they have a fire in their bellies and there is a thirst to acquire knowledge and do something and be an achiever. And one more thing we, I have observed is, any person becoming a doctor from this underprivileged background will not hesitate for a minute to specialize in a field which may require emergency calls. He may be woken up in the middle of the night to attend to some emergency. Whereas a doctor from a well-to-do background may opt for a specialization which need not, there is no emergency required. He just have to maintain the normal working hours. So his family life is also not disturbed. Then on my visit to schools, one interesting observation I have noticed is all the principals insist that the staff and students speak in English. Why? Because ours uh, is an English medium school. At the same time, these schools are under Shia management and control. So what I feel is it is absolutely necessary and essential to observe the practice and teachings of Ahlebet alayhi salam. And uh, one more thing that comes to my mind is we come across various advertisements, say for example sale of automobile. How do they advertise it? They say that well, this particular vehicle belongs to a doctor, a Parsi gentleman. Why do they mention that particular characteristics? Because it's a general impression that those vehicles will be well maintained. So similarly, the point I am coming to is that we should also develop that culture. Okay? When they see us, they should feel that okay, this is the lover of Elizabeth. So automatically the stamp should come. And this will come when our younger next generation, you know, grow up with these values, these attitudes. And similarly, one more thing is there you might have noticed that Gujaratis, Marwadis, people assume that they are very good businessmen. All of them may not be there, but that is the impression in the members of public. Why is it so? Because people have observed over a long period of time, they have an aptitude. 
So these are the things we have to understand. Now I will tell you one thing, important thing that comes to my mind is our holy prophet. See irrespective of caste, section, this, that, sex and everything. Holy prophet is the founder of Islam. Everybody across the board will accept that. So how did he spend his 40 years on this earth? He set himself as an exemplary person. He was the most helpful, most truthful and most trustworthy. Then uh, we have seen in the history, Islamic history, that when he announced his prophethood on the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the 40th year, in Dawat al where he had a large gathering, he asked them, suppose I tell you there is a large army waiting outside, just outside Mecca to attack us. Will you believe me? Will you believe me? Everybody without exception said, yes, we have never known you to lie. That is the impression he had before announcing prophethood also. Similarly, at the time of Hijrat, when he was made to go from Mecca to Medina in the middle of the night, the locals of Mecca had kept lots of valuables with him, which he entrusted to Imam Ali Salam to give it to their respective owners. See, even when they had personal enmity, nobody doubted his trustworthiness. In spite of so much trouble he went through, we are all aware about it. My seniors knows much better. This what I am saying is for my young, young friends. So these are the facts we have to adopt and make it a part of our culture. That is what I want to stress on here. Then secondly, since we are the followers of the best of creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these <coughs> things we have to follow on individual levels and on the levels of an organization like Imam al Zamana Mission, these three factors of helpfulness, truthfulness and trustworthiness. And also slowly the entire community should be recognized compulsorily with these three characters. <coughs> and for me, it is very important that these factors should be ingrained in my students that we are catering to. And it is high time that we the believers of Imam al Zamana should establish a reputation that we are helpful, we are truthful and trustworthy in all our dealings. Then we can start with ourselves and then others will see the benefit. See this is all for self benefit. By being adopting these characteristics we are not going to benefit others. That over a period of time, everybody will realize everything is with a selfish interest we need to do. Then automatically things will be set right. Ultimately, the net beneficiary is us, us only. Nobody else is benefited with all this. Then, inshallah, our prayers for appearance of Imam al Zamana will materialize when his lovers become known with these characteristics. And the general public impression also change, also changes towards our community. Strong character will also serve to attract non-believers who don't believe in Islam towards the Islam. See our holy prophet, how they started Islam with a strong character, not with sword. That was a compulsion which came later on. Initially that is all false propaganda. And for, like for example, take my own example. If I agreed for a meeting at 4 p.m., I should be particular that I am there on the dot or at least 5 minutes earlier. Similarly, it's a small thing which doesn't require huge amount of capital, finance, you know, physical fitness or youthfulness, nothing. The values, this if you ingrain these values within ourselves, inshallah the output also will be very nice. Similarly, my functions, if I hold a function, I should start it on time and end it on time. Why? Because I not only value my own time, more than that I value the visitor's time. Simple things are there if you observe inshallah, we will have lot of barakat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will shower his blessings on us in this world and also in the hereafter. Because we are helping his cause which is getting all diluted. Now I will tell one couple of hadiths from our infallible imams. With their wordings are such 
that definitely they have infinite weightage. Like in Biharul Anwar, volume 68, page 7, Imam Jafar is Sadiq alayhi salam. Says, <coughs> says, call people towards goodness, not with your tongue. But people should witness striving, truthfulness and piety. See, these are infallible Imams. You see the weightage behind what they are saying. One, one jumla of theirs has so much weightage, it is mind-boggling. Similarly, our fifth Imam, Imam Ahmad Bakhar salam says, Aina Nabil Wara, help us with piety. What is it? What is it they want? Is it going to help them in anything, our piety? It is because the overall cause, they have the overall picture in mind, the larger picture as they say in mind. Similarly, see, if a son is there, if he does anything wrong, the father is blamed. His upbringing is questioned, correct? So, and our Imams consider ourselves very, very close to them. Anything we do which is unpleasant, unwanted, they feel ashamed about it. We should make them proud of with our attitude, with our behavior, with our culture, everything. I'll make it short since my time is up. To conclude, each of us have to identify an area of focus to serve Imam al zamana Ajarullah Ta'ala Farajo Sharif, by serving his lovers. And this is the important part. We have to excel in whatever we do. This will be a sabab jariya for us, our parents and teachers. Then I will close this with a final hadith. Imam Jafar is Sadiq alayhi salam. <coughs> was asked by one of his lovers a question that is Khaim alayhi salam born? During his time, in the time of sixth Imam, Jami imagine how many years before the actual birth of Imam Zamana. He replied, no. But he said, I would love. His wordings I will replicate exactly because it is a hadith. I don't want to mix my own words in that. He replied, no. And if I reach to him, I would definitely serve him all the days of my life. What does it mean? Our sixth Imam has expressed his longingness to be present in present era, present era of Imamat of Imam Zamana. We are so fortunate to be living in this era, which our sixth Imam desired with his, all his heart. And we have to serve Imam Zamana and we should take every opportunity and dedicate our lives in serving Imam to seek closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I sincerely thank you all for giving me your valuable time. Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu salluna ala nabi Ya ayuhal lazina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil faraju Thank you sir. MashaAllah. Ariza isli khake shifa se likha hai ضرور ہوگی نایت امام آخر کی